So let's get back to the topic. The Yeti. This I will send out. Welcome back to Credit Card Wars Part 67. So as some of you guys know, uh, I've been off for three months. I just went back live last Thursday, but let's go with the topic today, which is America Express keeps sending me emails. They want me to sign up for a new America Express business platinum card. So let's look at the email I received. Normally, I wouldn't recommend anyone clicking on any spam emails. Could be hackers, but this looks like this is from America Express. So let's kind of go through this together and see if it's worth applying for this business charge card. So as you guys can see, America Express loves me. They gave me three America Express business gold cards. I use these here and there. So let's talk about something that's very important, which is the annual fee. So if, as you can see here, the business platinum card has a $595 annual fee. So we have to look at this and make a decision. Does having a fee of $595 per year offset the benefits? So to make it easy for me, I'm just gonna take these uh, benefits and see if it applies to my own life. So let's start with the first one. If you apply and get approved by February of next year, as long as you spend somehow $10,000 within the first three months, they will give you 50,000 points. I also took a moment to check out their website outside my email. And they also give another bonus, which is if you want another 50,000 points, you need to spend another $15,000. So again, in the first three months, you need to somehow spend $25,000 in the first three months. Some people don't even make $25,000 a year. Let's keep going down the list. Another benefit that they wanna give you is their premium lounge access, meaning if you have this card, you're gonna be able to go use one of 1,200 lounges around the world. I have my priority pass, and if their lounges are anything like the priority pass lounges I've gone to, more recently, the lounges have been stricter. They've been uh, pretty much putting up signs at the door restricting people who have different passes from getting in. So I'm just letting you guys know that's what I've experienced the last 12 months. So let's keep moving along. Airline bonus. So anytime you use your points and you book through the membership rewards portal of American Express, they will give you a 35% points back up to 500,000 points per year. So pretty much what they're saying is if you go through their portal, you book with your points, you book with this card, you're gonna get a 35% bonus back. That's good, I guess, not the best. $200 airline credit. So at the start of the year, what they want you to do is let them know what airline you travel the most with. So where we live in the Northwest, Alaska Airlines is the airline that we use most often as a family and my business trips. So I would let them know that that's the airline I'm gonna travel the most with. Anything that I charge related to Alaska, including snacks, beer, anything of that nature, I'm gonna get that back 200 bucks per year. Finally, points. How the heck are you gonna get points since you're gonna be charged almost 600 bucks per year? This is a critical one. Anytime you book travel, which is hotel or flights, with this card, you get five times the points on. So that's where you get the bulk of your points. Another way is anytime you have transactions of $5,000 or more, 
So you have to charge it one time, 5,000 or more, you get 1.5 times the points. So that's the only two big ways to generate a lot of points. There are other things that are benefits that I'm not gonna take time to talk about since they really don't apply to me. They're nice, like no foreign transaction fees, but they're really not important to me. So I'll just kind of skip that. So going back to, oh, I forgot to say, I'm gonna give this Yeti away. I should have told you guys in the beginning. So I'm gonna give this Yeti away. I don't know what the question will be, but I'll make one up before this video is over. So let's get back to the American Express Business Platinum Card. So the question I'm gonna ask myself is, would I apply for this charge card? I, I need to say something about charge cards. I think, uh, I don't know if a lot of people talk about this since I don't watch other people's videos. A charge card is different than a credit card. A credit card, you have a preset spending limit that you have with the credit card issuer. A charge card is pretty much a card that builds up its credit limit over time. To finish this off, would I get this card? At this present time, I wouldn't apply for this card personally. And the only reason why is, the way to accumulate the points on this card mainly is through travel. And I normally use points to travel 60% of the time. So it wouldn't work out for me. I wouldn't be able to capitalize, cover my annual fee, plus make boatloads of points with this card. So let's get back to the topic, the Yeti. This I will send out. A few months ago, someone asked me if I was sending out my own used Yetis. No, this is brand new. As you guys can see, it's brand new. Uh, all I want is this. The person that I pick in the comment section who gives me a reason why they might apply for this card or if they already have the card, if I like their answer, I will go ahead and choose you. I will send you guys a reply comment and you will win. So the person that lets me know why they have the card or why this card works for them, I will send this to them. So you guys, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching my content. I'm not gonna ask you guys to subscribe, but I will wanna thank my sponsor, the company that I work for, Devlin Northwest. Without Devlin Northwest, I wouldn't be able to spend a few hours making these videos once a week. I'll see you guys next Thursday on Credit Card Wars Part 68.